Hey everybody, it's good to have you all here. Um, I'm going to be covering how to use screen text or screencast for real-time captions uh, with screen text. It's very easy to use and I kind of look at this as a, as a guide um, for users to install it, use it, and some of the applications um, you can use it for. Um, so I'm going to cover that and kind of walk through that and, and give you kind of an overview for how it works and then I'll go in and do a demo and show a few examples of how to use it. Um, again, it's very easy to use and won't take that long to go through. So what is Screencast? Well, it's a platform used to overlay captions on top of just about any application. So you can overlay a video, a presentation, and in places typically you couldn't get real-time captions before. Um, Screencast supports Mac, and Windows OS, so we've got a version that works on the Mac, we have a version that works on Windows. Um, it's free to use with screen text, it's included with our service. It's one click install. It's a very easy thing and I'll go to that support document uh, before we demo it just to walk you through that, but it's very easy to install. One click, it installs and it actually starts up right away. It has a fully customizable display so you can set the colors, the font, the spacing, anything you want even a translucent background um, to overlay things where you want just the text to show. The window will always stay on the top, um, which is nice because you can go through your presentation or do whatever you need to do while those captions are being broadcast or you're able to see those. Um, each session is saved, so once you set it and configure it, you'll never have to do that again. Just start it up and it'll start up in the exact same location with the same combination. And it's easy to use. It's just like a normal screen text event. You're not going to have to do anything different from a setup as a writer. It's identical. It's really nice and easy to use. And you can use it in conjunction with a regular screen text feed or if you're feeding other applications like YouTube or Zoom or other things like that. So let me cover just a few of the applications and then I'll go into a quick demo. Uh, so you can overlay a presentation being used for a projector. You can use it to add open captions to a video. Um, you can uh, you can do one-on-one -on -one cart captioning. Just had my phone is bugging. I had to turn that off. Um, for one-on-one -on -one cart captioning, the user can actually install this right on their computer and have it be an overlay. And what's really nice about that is they can go in and work around with their email or whatever application they want, and that real time is gonna be up there where they need it. Um, you can use it with webcasting software like GoToMeeting. It just has unlimited applications. Um, you may be at a convention where they wanna use one projector. You know, you're, you, it's very easy to overlay whatever they're presenting on that projector um, with Screencast. So let me go in and actually demo that and give you kind of a quick overview of how that works. So I'm gonna turn my presentation off here. And I'm going to show you this support document first. So to get to Screencast, you go to our website, screentext.net, and click on support. That will bring you to our support site, which again has a lot of information and a lot of Screencast features. Go down to the Screencast instructions and overview. Again, I've got a detailed instructions on how to use it. Some examples are listed in here. And you'll also see the installation instructions. We do have a couple versions for Windows. Um, they just have different controls. And I'll show that a little bit later. Again, if it's a Mac OS, I just click here. And it's a one-click install. So you'll just click on that and it'll automatically install and start up. And let me give you an overview for what that looks like. So I've already installed it. And I'm going to go ahead and just start up. And you can see it pops up to where I last left, left it with the settings I had for it, which in this case is, is blue with a yellow text. And um, I have it hooked up to my demo event. Um, it's easy to resize. You can just go in and stretch it and pull it to where you want it to be on the screen. You can also adjust the controls by doing Control S and that brings up your control screen. And it's very easy to use. Again, this is your event name, just like any other event name in Stream Tech. So you just add the event name, add it in, 
and whatever you've scheduled it as in stream text. The X and Y coordinates can be adjusted. Again, these are typically what the settings are saved for where you move and adjust that, but you can also set it to what you need to. Um, the spacing is interesting. You can control the spacing between the line. The default is 1.5, but you can do double spacing, even increase the spacing even more if you need to, depending on the application. Font size is completely adjustable, as well as font family, your background color, which also includes a transparent option. So you have the ability to have transparent tags. Again, once you set those settings, they're going to be saved every time. And it's going to fire up and, and demo the same thing over in you know, the same spot, unless you need to change the event name. Uh, typically, that's the only thing you'd have to change. So this is great. I've got it working on my regular screen here. And I'll show you how it looks with the presentation. I'll bring that back up again. And I'll just go to present mode. Just so you can see how this looks. And again, um, you can adjust it to fine tune it. Now, if you want two lines, I'm going to try and see if I can pull this up. A couple lines like this. And then again, you can adjust it to wherever you need it to be. Um, and it can be smaller, wider, just depending on how you want it to be displayed. Um, I'll also show you a video and how that looks like on a video. So let me uh, skip out of this. And I'll just pull up a, a video that we, we had uh, quite a while ago, just to kind of show you an example. So I've got a full screen video here. Oh, uh, you love my video. But you can get the idea um, for how that works. Um, with uh, the video. It'll overlay pretty much anything you've got. I guess something's wrong with the video I picked. But I'll just go to full size anyway so you can see how this would be on top of the video. So the nice thing is you can do a whole bunch of things with this, whether they're broadcasting the video up on a screen or they might be using this on the production side for the video. So you have an easy way of overlaying that video um, and, uh, and giving it open captions if you need to. Minimize this again. Sorry, I'm just doing full screen mode. Okay. And I just wanted to show you um, one other thing. Very easy to close. If you're done with it, you just close the window. Um, I want to show you, too, the other version. We have another version with a, a different set of controls. And oops, the connector is not that much yet. Oops, okay. Yeah, and you'll see up here, the controls are actually up here in this case. So if you do need to go in on this version up in the upper left-hand corner, you have your move button there, and you also have the settings button there. Some people prefer that versus a control S to open up, so they're really the same product, just with a different control set. And that's about it for the screencast overview. I've covered most of the basics for setting up, installing, using, uh, the platform. It's very easy to use. Again, you don't need to do anything special on your writing software, just like a normal screen text event. Very easy for the client to install. Can be used for presenting, overlaying a presentation, can be used for individual cart, can also be used for video production and open captions for a number of things, such as Facebook, um, which would be one of them. Um, I have some examples where I, I show that, I think, in some other videos we've got here. So I see there are some questions on here, and I will try to get through all these um, as quick as I can. Um, I will, if you also have questions afterwards, feel free to please comment afterwards, and I'll follow up with you afterwards. If you have any questions and want to see a demo or, or have any discussions with me on it, please feel free to contact me at any time. As usual, I'm here to help and, and help you guys um, with anything you might need as far as uh, using our platform. Again, great to have you all on here. I want to thank you all for attending. And uh, let me know um, if you've got any questions, keep, keep posting those on there. I'll continue to answer those throughout the day. And, and over time, if you've got anything, please set up a time with me. I appreciate it. Thank you.